Hi, want to know how to create stylish lower thirds like this in Camtasia even if you are not a designer and are super busy? Then keep watching. I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We share creative presentation ideas to help professionals like you create engaging presentations. We thank Camtasia from TechSmith for sponsoring our today's video. By the way, what are lower thirds? A lower third is a combination of text and graphical elements that appear in the lower third of your screen. You use it to introduce yourself like this or to reinforce what you said in the video like this. I call this the intro lower third and this one as the info lower third. Let me show you how to create these two types of lower thirds in a stylish and professional way with minimal effort. First, let's learn how to create the intro lower third. What do we need to create one? Your name and title if it's an internal video. If you want to share the video to external world, then you may want to include the logo and your company name. I personally prefer not to put too much information in my lower thirds because it is quite distracting and it looks messy as well. The best part about creating lower thirds using Camtasia is you don't have to waste your time and effort in creating one from scratch. You can always pick one of the many lower third options that come with Camtasia and customize the elements to match your brand logo, brand fonts and brand colors. To access the lower third assets, all you need to do is to go to library, Camtasia 2021 and you will find a whole bunch of folders here. Go to lower thirds and you can see a lot of options that you can pick and customize from. If you want a preview of how the lower third would come on the screen, all you need to do is to go to the specific lower third you want to see and double click. Here you get a quick preview. If you are not happy with the various options that are available here, you can always download more assets. For that, you need to go to download more assets option here and that takes you to TechSmith assets for Camtasia. And here you go to customizable, go to motion graphics and in the search column, you search for lower third and you will get all these options to choose from. To see how any particular lower third would work, you just need to place your cursor on the lower third and you will see a preview of that here. There are a number of free options for you to download, but just in case if you want to have even more options, then it is a good idea to subscribe to TechSmith Assets for Camtasia. When you do, you get access to thousands of useful resources to make professional videos. Like you get access to a whole bunch of images, audio, video files, and a lot of customizable TechSmith assets as well. If you want to subscribe TechSmith assets for Camtasia, we have got a special coupon code for you in the description box below where you get a 10% discount. Now let me choose one of the lower third options and customize it to suit my requirements. As I go down, I can see a whole bunch of nice options. Maybe I'll choose this one because this has a logo as well and I have options for my name and my company's name. So that is what I'm going to go for. To download the file, you just need to click on the download file option and that downloads the specific library file here in your downloads folder. You can go to downloads, you double click and that asks you here in Camtasia where you want to add the new asset that you downloaded. You can either create a new library or you can add to an existing library. I'm going to add this one to a library that I created earlier called more lower thirds. So let me select that and say import and that immediately gets downloaded onto my folder called more lower thirds. Here is the asset that I downloaded just now. So I'm going to click and drag it onto the timeline and that inserts the lower third onto the timeline. When I click on preview, you can see that this is how the lower third works. Now I need to customize all these elements to suit my requirements. The first thing I'm going to do is to change this logo. To do that, you just need to right click on this, go to import file and go to the specific location where you have stored your logo. I've got it here. I'm going to say open and that replaces the current logo with your imported logo. The next step is to change the title. So let me go here and let me write my name here and then let me change the subtitle. I'm going to include our site name here called presentation-process.com. 
Now let me see how the lower third looks so far. Let me scrub the timeline right to the beginning and play and you can see the preview here. Now what I noticed is the fonts that are used are not our fonts. So we need to change the font type and also the font color to match our brand logo. So let me go to the title, click on the font option and let me go up. And here I see that the font used is Montserrat. The one that I would prefer to use is our regular 2SEN MT condensed extra bold. So let me click on this option. This is the font that I like. And the color of the font needs to be the color that I see in the logo. So I'm going to pick up this eyedropper tool and move it to this one. Here you can see the red color can be picked up. I can click on it and now the font color for the title is changed. If I want to increase the size of the title, I can do so. I can move it to the right. Then I'm going to make changes to my subtitle, which is my company name. I'd prefer to have it in white color. So once again, let me go here and the font color needs to be white. It is already white. And I want this font to be changed to Calibri. And if I want to increase the size of this one also, I can do so. Now let us see how our lower third works. Let us see the preview. This is how the entry is. Now, just to ensure that we are fully satisfied, I want to make a couple of changes. First, I want to change this outline color to white. And second, I want to increase the size of the logo to match the entire box. Now, to access the logo, I'm going to double click on the logo. First, you can see that I've selected the outline. So let us make changes to the outline right away. You can see that there are quite a few animations here. So we want to make changes to all those animations. So let me go here to annotations and right at the top left, you can see that there is this option to change all the animations. So I'm going to select that. And the pop-up dialog says this button toggles edit all animations mode on and off. We want that to be on. So I'm going to say, okay, now this outline needs to be in white color. So let me move here to the white color and click outside. So we have made the changes here. Now, is it the same change right from the start? Let us see that. As we scrub the outline, you can see that before all these animations, the natural color here is yellow. So we need to change that one as well. So let us move this here and select each of these elements and change the color to white. So we have white color right from the start. So now when I scrub the outline, you can see that this is how the line is. It is perfectly white in color and it suits our requirement. The next thing I'm going to do is to change the size of the logo. So we don't really want to mess with the outline here. So I'm going to lock this track by clicking on the lock option. The next thing I'm going to do is to select the logo. So when I click on the logo here, I can access it. Now I'm going to hold the control button down and increase the size like so. Now let us see the one final version of the logo. This is how it enters the scene. It is filled with our logo and the size and everything is perfect. Now, once you're satisfied with the asset you created, you can always save it to your library so you can use it over and over again. I'm going to right click on this group, add to library. First, I'm going to give this a name and this needs to be in more lower thirds. I'm going to say, okay. Here you see the new asset we just created. Whenever we want to add a new lower third, all we need to do is to click and drag this onto the timeline and the new lower third will show. Now let's quickly learn how to create our info lower thirds, which reinforces the message that you say in your video. By the way, if you like what you see, you can always go to the link in the description box below the video and come to this page and download a free trial of Camtasia. Once you are happy with the program and decide to purchase the program, you can use our special coupon code in the description that gives you a 10% discount. Now for the info lower third, I'm going to use one of the TechSmith assets for Camtasia. I can see that there are quite a few very exciting options available here. One of the thumb rules that I have is, an intro lower third can have some exciting animation to draw the viewer's attention, but an info lower third needs to be subtle and non-distracting. So let us see what kind of options we have that are subtle. I see this minimal lower third to be pretty decent as well. Add it to my library. I'm going to choose more lower thirds and say import and that gets imported here. 
Let me click and drag it down here and let us see the preview. This is how the lower third works. Here I see that there are two text elements. I prefer to have just a single sentence in my lower third because I prefer to use as few words as possible in my info lower thirds. So if I want to change that, I can select this and I can delete the element. And as we discussed earlier, we can always select this text, change the font color and font type to suit our brand requirements. Now let me close this and let us play the lower third. You can see that this lower third stays on the screen for quite some time and then there is this exit animation that makes the lower third leave the scene. Now I notice that many times this duration is way too long. So how do I reduce the duration? The default tendency is to grab the end point and then uh, cut it like this. But then the problem is when I play this, you would notice that the end animation is lost and the lower third just vanishes from the scene. If you want to preserve the end animation, then the way to do it is first, let me hit control Z to reclaim it back. I'm going to ungroup this by right clicking and using the ungroup option. I would prefer to cut right from the center. Now let me hit control Z so I can go back to the way the group is. Now let me select the portion from the center and then I can go here to cut and now the duration is reduced. When I play this, you can see that this is the duration and the exit animation is still there. So that's how you create professional lower thirds in Camtasia. Now that you know how to create a professional lower third, it is time for you to learn how to create the circular video that shows you. This allows you to engage with your audience throughout the video. All you need to do is to click on the link here to learn how to create the circular video in a step-by-step -step way. Go ahead, click on the link here and start watching that video right now.